Who are you filming for? Leicester. Oh. <laughs> can I get a copy? Because you can, mate. Just email me. Huh? I'll, I'll take your email address. CRD TV are here at uh, Lowestoft Town on the East Coast after today's dramatic 1 1 draw for the Diamonds. Diamonds scoring uh, just as uh, the game went into injury time, and I'm here with man of the match Nathan Hicks. Nathan, um, I think we deserved that just about in the end. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always going to be a tough game coming down here, travelling three hours. I know they're down, down at the bottom, but they've, always, they've been plugging out. They've got, um, got a result against Royston in the week, didn't they? So it's always going to be a tough game. But I think after they scored the, that um, first goal, we, we was on top of them the whole 70 minutes. Um, we just couldn't score. But obviously, we got our just rewards at the end with a penalty. I think we deserved it. We should have took the three points, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were disappointed after Tuesday night at Banbury. We didn't play very well, did we? We probably got away with a lucky one now. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, so sometimes, like, even even, even Banbury, we had our chances, but we didn't take it in the day. We were sloppy the first, first, was it, first 10 minutes they scored for Banbury. We won 1-0, then was, it was a long way joining back from there. I mean, like we say, we have to bounce back today. I mean, we've, got, we've got a point out of the game, so make the journey way, way back a little bit better than what it was. Yeah, I mean, there was great effort, a lot more effort probably than Tuesday, and uh, they got the goal um, probably just about against the run of play. We were looking good in that first few minutes. Yeah, exactly. I thought we start, started off well. Was on, was on was on the front foot. And obviously, they got a, got, a, got a break on top of them, but I think, um, I think from then... Um... Can I have your signal? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so obviously when we took the goal, we, we still we stuck to our game plan and obviously lucky enough we got the goal at the end and like you say, we should have took the three points but it weren't meant to be, so we go again on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, the uh, the second half, we had a lot of possession. Probably didn't create a lot in that final third though. Lots yeah. I think yeah, I think that's what um, Lamy said. You know, I mean, we had a lot of possession. Got we got through. We had about 100 crosses going into the box today. But you know what I mean, we just couldn't get one end days. We couldn't get on, on end of it. But on another day, it could have been three or four, three or four one. But it's just, we'll take the we'll take the draw back. Yeah, and uh, substitutions worked. John Dean came on. Uh, did you see the the penalty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he got a bit of stick for it in there. But end of days, he got he got touched in the box. So he's got he's got to go down. And obviously, we've got our just rewards at the end. And uh, Ben, obviously, Ben Fowler's good from the spot. He, I don't think he went for his normal corner, did he? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think the boy said about like he obviously never you know, I don't want to oh, give, give away what he does on penalties, but I think he's cha changed his mind right at the last minute, and obviously it's done us wonders. I think the kid went that way as well, so he's taken the way, and we've got our point. So happy days. Oh man, I'm going to let you go because it looks like you're going to be signing about 20 autographs. Eh? <laughs> well right, done. Cheers, thank cheers. Thanks, Nathan. I'm now here with manager on the beats, Andy. Um, great fight back, and uh, probably got all we deserved at the end. Yeah, I think so. You, you said to the boys, keep believing, keep believing, and. When it gets that late, you do start to question if you go anything. But yeah, I thought fully deserved the point. Yeah, we played some better stuff than Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, Tuesday, I'm writing that one off because it wasn't good enough Tuesday, as I said. And it was damage limitations for me, 1 0. That's gone today. It was a different game, long way to come. 
um, against a team that had a great result the other night, so it will be tough. And I thought over the game, I thought we equipped ourselves pretty well. Disappointed with the goal they scored, to be honest. Um, but I thought overall, I thought we were certainly the better team and deserved something out of it. Yeah, I mean, first half we started brightly. I do it, and probably they got the goal against the play, and it was a good, I mean, it was a good finish. Yeah, it was a good finish. I just thought we perhaps gave them a little bit too much room in key areas. Um, I knew they were good in the final third. They got a good link up. Um, sometimes when people score a good goal, you've got to take it, you know, say they've scored. Um, it's how we react to it. Um, and I thought from then on, really, we reacted pretty well. They had one more little foray when they could have scored. But apart from that, I thought we managed the game pretty well. We got in some good areas without perhaps getting enough good balls in the final third. Yeah, that seemed to be the problem. We didn't really get to test their keeper enough, did we? No, again, I said, I came at half time, so we've done okay, blah, blah, blah. But again, the keeper's not the top to say. So we have to start making the keepers work, you know, for hell. I'm not sure whether it'll be set pieces or it'll be general play, better crossing to work the centre halves or whatever. But we have to come off the pitch with the goalkeeper working a little bit harder. I mean, now we had a lot of space on that left wing, um, perhaps didn't get the right ball in enough. I thought he was excellent. So he's a young kid, and he for a young kid, I thought he's excellent. But yeah, my criticism is when we have a little chat. He needs to do better. He needs when he gets half a yard, he needs to put the ball on the money. He had too many hit the first man or slightly over hit. But you know, you, I can't knock the kid again. He's, he's a young kid. He's coming to a team today. We're one nil down. He still wants the ball all the time, and I think he's matured so much in the time he's been with us. And you know, he, at the moment, he picks himself in the team. So yeah, he's learning. You know, but yeah, he, he was one who didn't put enough good balls in when they got in good areas. But very promising, isn't he? Oh, of course he's very popular. Yeah, been delighted with him. Yeah, and uh, you went, um, you know me and my tactics, I always get it wrong, but he did go 4 4 2 eventually. Yeah, no, we talked about it at half time, and I thought it was okay to do 4 4 2. I thought I wanted to give it a little while because I thought we were managing the game well, and I didn't want to go gun ho and concede the second, um, but I just thought I'd give it 20 25 minutes at the end, throw John Dean on, and just change it a little bit and go 4 4 2. And again, I thought, I thought we'd bossed most of the second half with both systems, to be honest. Yeah, and then the penalty. I mean, just as we went into time, I thought we were going to lose 1 0, and uh, we got the right decision. Yeah, I mean, performance said performance wise, I was happy. 1 0, I'd have been disappointed to get nothing. I don't think I could have asked for a lot more from a lot of them um, to get a, a penalty that late on. Fair play to Ben Farrell. I left him out today because I felt we needed to come out and have a little look at it. He didn't get as long off as I probably wanted to because obviously Bully was struggling with his calf but fair play he went on and took done well then took the penalty and stood up to the play and, and got us a point which I say I think we richly deserved. And uh, actually John Dean got in a good position then after he was scored as well. Yeah no he's one of them I just thought we might go and get another now he, he, put, he put probably the best ball we put in all afternoon and the defender done really well with Shanks there and oh, yeah. down him. Um, so yeah, yeah that, that was pleasing um, and overall I was, I was pleased with most of the game. It's a good point, isn't it? I think it's a good point because you know, forget where they are in the league. We've travelled a long, long way. We've had Liam go off injured. You know, got no Jack Bowen. You can, I can make excuses, but I wouldn't do that anyway. But I think a point away from home anywhere in this league is a good point. Certainly when you go that late on. And to be fair, we didn't have a lot of the rubber green. Nothing really seemed to drop for us. And the boys stuck to it and they stuck to the game plan. I put like, they put a real shift in. They worked really hard. And I said in football, if you keep doing the right things, you get what you deserve. And I, I think they did today. And what's the news about Liam? Yeah, Liam saw off his calf, so um, he felt it straight away. He got to half time. I took the. I thought Jack Jack Westcott can play there, no problem. Um, and like you said today, we didn't particularly need the three in there, so it was a no-brainer for me to give him the best chance he can to recover. I think he saw. Um, but say so today, it didn't weaken us because he got Ben Farrell, who's fantastic in that area anyway, in there, and Jack's sat in at the back, not a problem. And now Hales Owen, who uh, did lose in the trophy today, and it's Benny Moore got uh, beat 7-2, so yeah. Tuesday's going to be uh, uh, another interesting home game. Cool, course yeah. Absolutely, it was all to be tough. Really tough for them today, Spenny Moore, obviously, in top teams. That was going to be a difficult one. It's about us now. You know, I keep getting information on the teams, and I always follow up and, and do the best I can and get reports and watch teams. But I keep saying that it's about the boys we send out, you know, because going back to Tuesday for the final time, I can't legislate for them to play Tuesday. That doesn't matter if I watch teams or watch players or whatever. It's about us. And it'll choose to be no different this week. And today is only a good point if we go and get three more on Tuesday night at home to Al Zoe, and, and that's obviously the next remit. And I know you're still trying to strengthen the squad, and uh, obviously it's looking a bit uh, thin at the moment on the ground, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking not so much thin on the ground. We've still got plays, don't forget, getting minutes at Melton. Obviously, West is now injured. We've got Dan Clifton who was working today. So we've still got plenty of bodies. Um, yes, I'm looking to add to it. Am I just going to go and get anyone in for the sake of it? No, it's got to be the right person who fits into the group, fits into the structure of what we're trying to do at the club. So we will get a couple of fresh faces in the next little while, but it'll be the right ones and not the ones just for the sake of it. Well, we always talk about the journey home, don't we? That goal's going to make it a lot easier. It's going to make it a lot easier, John. It's still a fair old trek, but yeah, like you say, that point's a great point for us and it gets on another little run. It's just really important we follow it up on Tuesday night. Huh? Well done, mate. Cheers. I don't need love.